Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? What we're going to talk about right now is you know who uh, Joe Rogan is, right? He's a uh, podcast host and on his show a couple of weeks ago, he had a guest named Duncan Trussell, who is a writer, an actor, and a stand-up comic. And they had a conversation about how cashless society is a precursor to enforcing the mark of the beast. And this kind of surprised me because Joe Rogan himself is a non-believer. And he asked his guest, how long before we're in a cashless society? And his guest said, well, hopefully forever. You know, it's so scary to actually even imagine losing private privacy completely only because every transaction that you're ever going to make is in the public eye and is observable. And honestly, this is where, you know, I personally got really, really scared because it's so similar to the mark of the beast. It's too similar to exactly what the Bible in the book of Revelation says. So if you've ever read the Bible, which I have multiple times, it says you will not be able to trade. You will not be able to do anything unless you have the mark, unless you bear the mark. So in response, Joe Rogan says, well, how is the mark of the beast described in the Bible? I think we're on to something here. Well, as a non-believer that Joe Rogan is, it's kind of like, well, wait a minute. Why are you even, you know, asking such things, you know? And so Joe Rogan, he actually pulled the Bible out, which threw me for a loop. And he actually read from Revelation 13, 11 through 18, which is a section that describes the coming of false prophets, uh, a second, a, a kind of um, um, a second in command or the lieutenant, if you will, of the coming Antichrist, who is going to make an, an image to him. And <clears throat> this, you know, the, Joe, it, 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 he starts talking in length about the mark of the beast and reading the book of Revelation and making the, the connection between the cashless society and the rise of the Antichrist. And I don't know if you're aware, but Amazon now has this thing. It's a new thing. It's called Amazon One. And this technology is about to go nationwide. And they released a, a new cashless Pay, excuse me, pay by palm that requires a hand wave. And they're taking cashless payments to a whole nother level. All right. And in a statement on Thursday, Amazon announced that their palm recognition service called Amazon One will be used for payment, identification, loyalty membership, an entry at over 500 Whole Food, Amazon Fresh locations across the nation by the end of the year. So instead of pulling out a credit card or your debit card or even like your, your iPhone or whatever the case may be, if you're an Amazon One or subscribing Amazon Prime or whatever, you'll just have to go, eh, okay, I, I pay now and that's it. So... For decades, private, uh, Bible prophecy teachers have been saying that there is going to be a cashless society, and we know this. The only way that the Antichrist can control the world economy is for there to be no cash. As long as there is people can use cash to operate in a way that is undetected. So this technology is already available at 200 locations across 20 states like uh, Arizona, California, Idaho, Oregon, and Mississippi. Um, you've heard of the uh, restaurant Panera Bread. 
they have adopted a technology that customers can wave their hand in front of the device in order to pull up their My Panera loyalty account information and pay for their meals. At Coors Field Stadium in Colorado, customers trying to purchase certain kinds of beverages can hover their palm over the Amazon One device to verify that they're 21 years of age and older. Now it's being used now in several different convenience stores as well. And it's being used at Hollywood casinos in Detroit. It's also being used in many airport uh, traveler uh, retailers. So this means you don't need your wallet, your purse, your phone to complete transactions. You need your palm. Basically, this turns your hand into your personal credit card. No thanks. So how does this work? You pre-enroll via your Amazon account using your credit card, your debit card. Next, you head over to the Amazon One palm reading device to make a scan. Now this is powerful because the algorithm matches unique elements of your palm because from this is from like watching like you know detective shows and stuff like that there's palm there's points on your palm and stuff like that you know that they like their points or whatever and this goes with your account information it doesn't just use images of your palm to identify you as a person but it also incorporates the underlying vein structure so you've got veins in your palm and that's what it uses too and a palm is the safest, and this is according to what they're saying, biometric to use because you cannot identify a person by it. Yes, you can. And that's what Amazon is saying. But the tech company is assuring our customers that their palm data will not be shared by third parties. BS, have you ever heard of a hacker? And this is including in response to government demands. So in the future, this is going to be taken over by the Antichrist. He's going to rule the world and he's going to rule the economy. It's important to understand that these technologies that we're talking about here, Amazon One, different chip technologies, biometrics, are not the mark of the beast. They are part of the infrastructure that he's going to use to control the world economy. I think he will use these things alongside the mark of the beast, if that makes any sense to you. He will use every kind of technology that he can control and monitor and surveil people's lives and their finances and their privacy and you know, what's going on in their brain, what's going on with their body, you know, that type of thing. When you control people's money, you control their life. Sounds like that one jackass, control the food, control the people. So all of this part of the con con continued setup and setting the stage for this global economy and the antichrist. So people want to know what is the mark? Well, everybody wants to know. What does it look like? What is it? Is it a chip? Is it that? Is it this? Is it that? What? So the word mark in Greek is the word charag charagma, C-H-A-R-A-G-M-A. -A -A. And nine times in the New Testament, you have the word charagma. I can't even say it right. And it's used for this mark eight times of those times in the book of Re Revelations. The only time it's not in Revelation is in Acts 17, 29, which says, for as much, then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone, graven or etched by art and man's device. So this mark of the beast is going to be an etching, a tattoo, a brand, whatever it is. 
it will be upon the right hand or the forehand okay of people during the tribulation period it will be instituted at the midpoint of the seven-year tribulation when the antichrist rules the world politically economically and religiously now it says in revelation chapter 13 that the number 666 is the number of a man the number of his name now in both greek and hebrew all the letters of the alphabet have a numerical value associated with them when the antichrist appears his name will equal 666 now if you've ever watched that movie the omen and with damien he's got the 666 on his scalp you know what i'm saying and I'm sure you can look today and find all kinds of people whose name equals 666. But that's jumping the gun to do that, so don't please don't do that. He's not going to be revealed until after the rapture. Now, when people take the mark of the beast, they're literally being taking the name of the Antichrist on the right hand or their forehead, and it will be a pledge of allegiance, a loyalty oath, to the Antichrist, that they now belong to him. God help us all. But he owns them. And if people don't take this mark, they're going to be shut out of the worldwide economy. I'd rather be poor and happy than rich and miserable, but that's just me. It's all here. It's all in place. And all that has to happen is the rapture now i'm going to say it again like i said it in my other video it's not going to happen on september 23rd 2023 so please don't lose your minds and panic but one of these days the curtain of the end times will go up and when the rapture does take place and the antichrist will rise the mark is going to engulf the whole world but the only one who knows when this is going to happen is our father god no man actually knows this so please don't listen to anybody who actually says that they know this because they don't they are lying god didn't tell us these things to scare us okay he gave us these things to prepare <laughs> excuse me to prepare us I mean, I know it's scary and I get it. It's not to make us anxious, but to make us alert and aware. So for those of us who know the Lord, like I do, and like I know a lot of you do, we see these things and it foreshadows the fulfillment of prophecy of the coming cashless society. And the mark of the beast it's a major signpost toward the so the soon coming of jesus christ uh, you and i need to make sure that we're ready all right i know a lot of us we push ourselves and we push ourselves we're good okay so i don't want you to worry because i'm not all right i know where i'm going and I know where a lot of you are going because we're all going to be meeting up in the same place for coffee, okay? Coffee and entomans, all right? Because we're going to be sitting at that table with our Lord, all right? All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next one, okay? You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping. And as always, fear less. Ciao.